Good afternoon, I'm David Sears with the KSAT 12 News Update. A man is in the hospital after police found him shot on the city's west side. However, who pulled the trigger? Still a mystery. Officers started their investigation just after 8 this morning at the Kennedy Arms Apartments on Jamar Boulevard. That's not far from South General McMullen and Highway 90. Police say a man was sitting inside a truck when someone walked up to him, shot him multiple times, including in the head. He was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Officers are trying to learn more. However, they have not found any witnesses and they don't have a description of any potential suspects. 14 people forced from their homes after a fire broke out at a northeast side apartment complex. Now crews are trying to figure out how that fire got started. Firefighters arrived at the Iron Horse Valley Apartments around 1030 last night. That is on Loop 410, not far from Starcrest Drive. Crews tell us the fire started in the attic. Eight units had to be evacuated. Everyone got out safely, including one elderly woman. She was helped out of her apartment with a stretcher. It is not clear how much damage the flames caused. And police say a group of burglars broke into an ATM early this morning using a stolen truck. And they got away with cash. Officers first responded to the calls around 5 this morning at the corner of Marbach and Hunt Lane. They believe two men had ripped an ATM open with the help from the truck and a chain, then cleaned out the cash. Police believe they also had help in getting away from someone in a second car. They ditched the pickup around the corner on the Garden Street and parts of the ATM, including the front door, scattered nearby on Marbach Road. Part of that street was shut down while police investigated. Officers have not made any arrests so far. And once again, we are headed towards another record breaking day because of all this heat. We will have more for you on KSAT 12 News at 5 and again at 6. And the latest on our website, head, set, head over to KSAT.com. See you at 5. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.